Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. What an odd time you are entering as on the one hand you have the horrors of war and on the other the expectation of a happy time celebrating according to your religious beliefs. It is a break from the reports of lives lost and in many cases people's homes, certainly not a good way to end the year. The prospects for a better new year seem hard to justify as the future is so uncertain, yet other forces greater than those upon earth are playing out a way forward that will end with a victory for those of the light. So our advice to you is to think positively knowing that at some stage with the increasing vibrations the dark ones will be overcome and peace and lasting happiness will be established upon earth. Meantime life for so many has become very difficult, hence it has become difficult for them retain their ability to cover their own needs. The homeless grow in numbers creating a near impossible situation for other countries to continue supporting them. It is the outcome of your leaders' inabilities to always find the means to help them let alone the ever-expanding cost. It is a human-made problem through not addressing the problems many years ago that have arisen from the poverty people have had to live in. You then have to remember that money has often been squandered or stolen that should have been used to raise the standards of living in those countries. Now the whole world is in turmoil and those living in poverty or war-stricken areas cry out for help. The situation illustrates what happens when the needs of those living in poverty with little help find they can no longer exist. If you have a heart you cannot but be appalled that in a so-called modern age that such levels still exist, it is a powerful test of mankind's attitude to those souls who need not just love and kindness but real help that lifts them up again. We have yet to see whether real and urgent help will be given. Remember that you are all one in the eyes of God and as brothers and sisters should help each other in the times of need. Each country has enough problems to deal with yet there are degrees of poverty that call for immediate action and many are being caused by the results of climate change. The natural changes are coming thick and fast and it is undoubtedly a very challenging time. They add to what has been a difficult time for food growers who are looked upon to meet the world's demands. Oh! what a muddle you are in and probably the worst scenario has not yet occurred and you are ill-prepared for it. The size of the problem is immense and surely calls for a united effort from all countries together. It is time to put away your differences and act as one to successfully deal with the worldwide problems, to avoid an utter calamity. Dear ones, we are always with you but careful not to interfere with the decisions you have made but nevertheless have to be allowed to override some decisions that go beyond your responsibility and is ours, such as the greater responsibility for Mother Earth. So between us we manage matters upon Earth quite well and they work out as planned. Understand we look further ahead than you can as from our position everything is in the now. Our main objective is to keep you on a path that eventually leads you home. Nothing happens without good reason behind it so that no time is wasted or lost going over old ground, although some souls are so far behind it is necessary to do so, we do not give up trying to get a soul making progress but sometimes a soul refuses to move on. That is where free choice comes into play so we do not force a soul to do something against their wishes. We do know what is best for you but would never force it upon you against your wishes. With few exceptions you are all old souls, well experienced and at present about to make your last journey in the lower vibrations. We are confident you will do it and there will be cheers and celebrations all round when you do. Nearly all of you have been within this cycle from the beginning, so can you imagine how many lives you must have had. You have been everywhere and done everything through hundreds of lives. You have a mine of experience and are well equipped to continue your journey in the higher vibrations. You have so many friends that have traveled with you often as family on more than one occasion. So you have many, many friends waiting to meet you again and you will certainly have much to celebrate. The lower levels cannot intrude onto the higher ones so you already out of their reach. You have such a wealth of experience to call upon if you need to. Imagine all of the friends you must have made, some will have moved on whilst others will still be in your group. Great times lay ahead for all of you who are ready to ascend and say goodbye to the test of living with entities of the lower vibrations without being involved with them. 
Of course many useful lessons have been learned or should we perhaps say relearned and you have understood how to cope with having many souls around you carrying negative energies. Your lives are shall we say custom made to ensure you get the lessons you need that in many cases are so slight you have had no difficulty in dealing with them. You already know what you want to do for the future but you have yet to discuss it with those appointed to help you. So much will be open to you that you will certainly be spoiled for choice but deservedly so. Believe us, you are closing a chapter in your life that has been a most interesting time yet so helpful in preparing you for greater things. Soon you will be free to choose your next experiences and get much help in making your decision. It will be a great leap forward and you will soon forget the ups and downs of earlier lives. So keep your head up high keeping your distance from the possible attractions of the lower vibrations knowing that you are nearly at the end of what has been a very long path through many lifetimes. I leave you with love and blessings, and may the light brighten your days and path to completion. This message comes through my higher self my God self, and every soul has the same connection to God. In love and light. Mike Quincy